Road traction. There we go. Road traction Why? again. Okay, that's braking traction pretty effortless. Stock! What the? All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Zero to 60. Today, we're in the holy grail of N54 powered vehicles. We're in... It's the BMW 1M. Man, it isn't a special car, and it feels like it. It does. Even, um, I mean, it's a one series. I wasn't really sure what to expect. Obviously, it's got a few tweaks, but even just being in the interior for the short amount of time, it feels pretty good, feels pretty special. As soon as the car pulled up this morning, it just had that presence about it with the big wide arches. The wheels look amazing. Wow, it goes surprisingly well for a stock tune. It really does. And even the interior, I know, look, this is a bit naive on my behalf, but I didn't realize that they had all this Alcantara. It's got Alcantara up on the dash pad, Alcantara across the center, the gear, oh, leather it, it wheel. Makes, it's, it actually reminds me of the Alpina D3. You're right. Similar place in the Alcantara, and it just makes such a nice, such a nice difference it, for the interior. It feels like a special sporty vehicle, but I guess it kind of was. Now, this was the first M-powered car that used a turbo engine, and I say car because somebody did just remind me that the X5M was turboed. But these were the first sort of, I guess it was almost like the test bed for the F80 with the S55. So BMW. They had a lot to... They, I felt like they were experimenting with these vehicles. Um, How was the market uh, going to take to an engine that doesn't scream to seven, 8,000 RPM, but has actually got more mid-range torque? So you end up with more usable power. That's what it feels like. I think they've done a... Sorry, I had to break a bit hard then. <laughs> incredibly well, good job of not making it feel like a turbo engine. It doesn't even sound like a turbo engine, does it? No, now this, it sounds completely different to how this engine sounds in my Three 392 335. And I, I've got a feeling these do have a different throttle mapping setup and maybe that's why it feels very different. But the, the surge of boost doesn't appear to be there. It feels much more like a naturally aspirated engine. It must be a completely separate tune for the 1M. I'm sure, yes. Um, well, actually, they were a little bit more power than the N54s and the 335s, weren't they? They uh, were. The I think the 1Ms are around the 330 horsepower mark and 450 newton meters normal driving, but once you hit overboost, jumps up to 500. So these have an overboost. Yeah, I think a 13.5 PSI, I think. So what does uh, the N54 run in your car stock? They're around 8, 8, 8 PSI in the stock trim. That's N54, why it 335. feels a lot quicker than a stock one. You're right, it's that bloody overboot. And it does, the mid-range torque feels like an MHD tuned 335. What else is special about it? So it's not just got this really torquey engine. Uh, they surrounded the rest of that package with... Pass the, from the bloody E92 M3. Which, if you'd seen our video on the 92 M3, you know we, we love those cars. And yes, the engine, but also the way it drove. So yeah, well they stole the diff out of it. Yeah, well, diff, suspension, um, the brakes, the brakes as well. The brakes actually work quite well in this small chassis, and these are quite a light vehicle. The front end, we've only been driving this for three or four minutes, but the front end feels so much more, I don't know if responsive is the right word, but I've, I'm instantly confident in this front end. It makes my E92 335 feel like a slob. Terrible. It's, it is, like, just being in, in the passenger seat, everything feels super direct. There is doesn't seem to be any play anywhere. It's very agile. So I'm hoping that we do actually get to do some proper twisties today. Because although we are here to test it zero to 100, I, I don't think that's gonna blow us away, if I'm honest, with this setup. And it wasn't, at the end of the day, um, these zero to 100 times, manufacturers use them to sell cars. And it's, yeah. it's always promoted with, with the vehicle when they sell it. And back then, this was competing, well not competing, but it, it's older brothers with the E60 M5 and the E92 M3. And both of those cars were high four seconds, zero to 100 factory times, neither of them we managed yeah. to get into the fours, all the ones we test are in the fives, but they, I feel like they had to hold this back. They couldn't push the acceleration too much and then they focused on making it handle. So it's not, what we're doing with it is probably not what it's designed for, but I'm super keen to see what it uh, is capable of today. Well, speaking of the runs, we, if you're new to the channel, we do try and simulate a real world uh, zero to 100 or, or a traffic light race. So for the timing, we use either a V-Box. However, today we are using a Draggy. They work very, very similarly. Um, no rollout, very accurate timing. Uh, a lot of guys will time their speedos, which is always a bit optimistic. Very incorrect. Uh, and, and generally, we don't see factory times. Um, it's it, Well, it, obviously, the, those times are done in test conditions on a prep surface, which we never do. We make an effort to make sure it is on a, a non-prep surface for more real-world real accuracy. And obviously, we've got two people in the car as well. Um, all these things do factor in to slowing it down. All those things taken into account, it feels super torquey. I think traction's gonna be our, our issue here and getting the power down. If we can see 
a five second time, a sub six second, I'm going to be pretty happy with this car. I think that would be more than fair uh, given its factory claim 4.9 and what we typically find. And actually as a comparison, a stock E92 335, um, the fastest we could get a stock car to go was 6.5 seconds. That was with, a with an automatic gearbox as with well. Auto, yeah, so. so it'll be interesting to see how the manual goes. Regardless, I'm looking forward to find out. <laughs> Maybe it's going to be all right. It's snappy. It's very talky. Comment right. below what you guys think it's going to do. We'll go to the spot, set some cameras up, and see what it really does. Let's see what happens. All right. See you guys shortly. Recording? Everything's recording. That's recording. Recording. All right, guys, we're going to give it its first attempt. Um, and basically, being a manual, I'm just going to try and... We've got traction fully off. I'm just going to try and man manage wheel spin. Hopefully get the shift right. James did say he's a bit quicker with traction off, didn't he? He did, yeah. So but straight to traction off? Yeah, we'll go straight to traction off. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to just, I just did roll a little bit then. It hasn't started counting. Okay. It's quite windy. We ready? Ready. Nice. Woo. That feels good. <gasps> what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? I want to make you guess. 5.7. Bruh. 5.16. <laughs> Ridiculous. These are, four, these are 4.9 when they're brand new in test conditions. These tires are old. That's my first launch. It felt good. It felt real. Traction felt pretty good. Um, it's strong, isn't it? Just strong, straight, as soon as you put your foot down. It's, the power is there. All right, I'm gonna do one more, although I don't know if I'm gonna beat that. That I was pretty mega. I think that's gonna be very hard to beat. Um, because there's a twist to this video, which we'll tell you in a few minutes. Let's get to some clean, some clean yeah. tarmac. Um, and if there is room, do you wanna to go to 120 to get the 60 to 120? You tell me when to back off. All right, we reset. We're good. Yep. What do we do, 60 to 120? 5.13. That's not very quick. That's, I was expecting more. The zero to 100, that one was 5.8. A bit slower. Yeah, it didn't feel as aggressive off the line. No, I, I, I went more gentle because we got a little bit of wheel spin on that first one. Yeah, that's fair enough. Do you want to, do you want to try again or should we call it? Um. Oh, usually I'm all for it, just keep going, but normally you need to. 5.16 is phenomenal. That's a legit time. No yeah. rollout. No. That's just, I can't believe we did that. That's... I'm going to do one more. <laughs> just, but I'm not going to go for the 120 this time, because 120, you get that extra shift. Yep. All right. Okay, reset and good to go. Ooh, way more, way more aggressive. It could work, it could work. Yep. Okay, 5.23. 5.2, so we've got two low fives. It's fair to say this is a low five. Far out, wow. fast. Imagine if you hadn't have just made your car insanely quick. This thing would smoke you off the line. Wowzers. All right, guys, let's get these cameras off and uh, we'll have a bit of a surprise so summary for you in a second. Yeah, and yeah, we've got some extra news too. See you in a sec. So yeah, 5.1, you One, confirm? 5.16. That's properly quick. That's... For a stock car with two people and no rollout. Oh, that's crazy. Wow. And so close to its factory claim time as well. Actually, we need to correct this a little bit because it's not completely stock. This car does have a China spec five inch intercooler. Um, it's the same one that I used to have on my 335. And for the sake of 400 Aussie, I think they're worth every single penny. Yeah. And it's also running a VRSF um, charge pipe. alloy charge pipe. Now the reason it has those two mods is the owner wants to get MHD Stage 2 Plus put on it. Today. Today. Uh, and he said we should go out and test it standard before we put MHD on. And that's what we did. And I'm... Dude, it, I'm, I'm... After that, I'm really excited about Stage 2 Plus because that's not boring. No, this car, to me, it feels like um, Dylan's Stage 1 Plus 335. The, the power. Yes. This car yeah. is quicker than that car, stock. <laughs> But the way it goes through the rev range, it, it feels like it's already got MHD on it. Yeah. I wonder if, I wonder if that gearbox um, helps the power delivery compared to the uh, six, 6 HP in the 335s. Well, I reckon once you're in gear, 100%, I think, it, I think this transfers the power from the engine to the rear wheels better. But off the line, 
Um, you if, I, if I could, if I could choose it, as much as I love my manuals, yeah. I'd, I'd want to do a launch in an in auto. It's just yeah. easier with a torque converter. But let us know what you think of that time. If you're impressed with it or not, keep in mind two people, genuine time on a real road. Uh, I'm super impressed. That's amazing. Yeah, and if you want to see more of this car, subscribe and come back for the next video because we have got some more videos to come. And I guess we'll see you in the next one. Woo! All right, guys. Peace. Peace.